continuing our devotion on the book of James, I have chosen James 3, 13 through 18. In my pew Bible, these passages are entitled, Two Kinds of Wisdom. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness, born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, inspirational, devilish. For where there is envy and self ambition, there will be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits. Without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy and a harvest of righteousness is shown, sown in peace for those who make peace. What do you think of when you think of a wise person? Do you think of someone who's famous? Mm, a scientist maybe, um, a Nobel prize winner, a spiritual person? Well, I think of my grandma Nora. She has only had a fourth grade education, but when she spoke, you just couldn't help but listen. So kind and so gentle and so wise. As she spoke, she was always doing something else. Usually she would be peeling apples or snapping green beans in a big bowl on her lap because she was so short that standing at the counter really didn't work for her. I wish I had her wisdom. It would be wonderful if she were here so I could talk to her more, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I doubt if she would consider herself wise or even recognize her good fruits, as James called them, as something that comes from God. It was just a way of life for Grandma Nora, just living what she believed, lending a hand in her quiet way. As I close from a few lines from the hymn, I urge you to take time to share your thoughts with someone about someone you view as wise, a wisdom that surely comes from God. You know me, you know I love to read hymns. And I'm gonna read just a couple lines. Um, Beloved God's chosen. Beloved God's chosen, put on as a garment, compassion for forgiveness and goodness of heart. Above all, before all, let love be your raiment that binds into one another in every dissonant part. Within, call forth wisdom to dwell in you richly. Let peace rule your hearts and let the peace be of Christ. And from the heart's chamber, beloved and holy, let singing thanksgiving to God ever rise. Amen.